Hey guys, I'm back with another video and this video is going to be a, a more of a review and ink test instead of an unboxing. Um, it's going to be a review of uh, Newler's, uh, one of their newest ink called Purple Mountain Majesty. And I placed another order with Goulet Pens, um, as you can see here. And on that order, I picked up Newler's ink. Uh, Purple Mountain Majesty, three ounces, and I picked up another pen, a, another Twisby Eagle pen, but in clear and in a fine nib. So I picked up to do a review on this ink. Um, I was thinking about getting a sample of it, but then I decided just to jump the gun and get a actual bottle. So like I said, it's not going to be an unboxing, but I am just going to show you the pen that I got. Like I mentioned, it's the Twisby Eco in clear um, in the fine nib. I also have, I have one, I have two now. The first one that I got was the Twisby Eco Transparent Blue in medium nib. And it's inked up right now. And this will be my second one. I wanted to get a fine nib to use on more um, non fountain friendly paper. And the medium nib, I would probably use more of a fountain friendly paper. So I am going to ink up this pen and test out the ink. And before I start, let me zoom back up. This is what you get in a package from Ruley Pen. It's just a saying how they packed it up. And if you have any questions or if they want to hear from you about their pack about the packing. This was packed up by Brenda, and I got a candy right here, which is, I think, raspberry. Yep, which kind of goes with the card that I got. These are their personal lies, um, like, no cards. And on the back, it's a thank you, thank you from Jeremy, and it's a Newler's Ink, Newler's Apache Sunset, which is really nice. So I might get that next time. That way right there. So this is the Twisby Eagle. It's just like the transparent blue. I'm not gonna go into detail about that. I will link that video um, down in the description. But the only difference is that one was blue, transparent blue, and this is clear. Ink up the pen with the purple magic, purple mountain majesty, and then test it on a Rodeo dot grid. So when I saw a sample of this on the Goulet website, I thought it was really like a really rich purple, which I really like. Purple is my um, favorite color, as you can kind of tell with my nail polish. Um, and I also, like I said, I couldn't wait for like a review. I couldn't wait. I couldn't. I didn't want just a sample of it because I was gonna get like three or four samples of it. I might as well just buy the actual bottle. So that's a little bit right there. All right, so. All right, so let me get my paper down. I'll put the towel down. So I'm really excited to ink up um, this pen. This ink. This is a fine nib. So like before, you it's a piston filler pen. So you just screw this down. Stick the nib and the feed inside the ink. And then draw it up. So it's pretty simple. So I'll put that back down. Oh, this is really filled up to the top. All right. Hopefully you guys can see that. And then I'm going to 
I could do it again. So I'm sure I can fill up more than that. So I do have a lot of air bubbles, but that's okay. Okay. Put the top back on. And just wipe it off. Like I mentioned, this is um, a fine nib. Okay, so I'm using new layers. Hope you guys can see that. Purple. with a Twisby Eco Fine Nib. So I really like the Fine Nib for everyday writing. And I really like how the purple looks. So I'm gonna do, let's see. It's fairly wet. So this is not a permanent ink, I don't believe. Um, so I wouldn't use this to like address letters unless you're gonna put maybe like a clear tape over it. But it's good um, for every day. And also this like, you know, the fine is really smooth. It writes really well. So I really, really, really like this color. It's dark. Um, I don't believe it has, no, it's not shading. Um, but you can kind of see where it's like a little light and then dark and light and dark and light and dark and light and dark. It's like, This might be a good ink to have in like a flex nib, but it's really nice. And it dries in about what, 15 seconds. Maybe 20 seconds. So it probably dries in like 20 seconds. So yeah, I can't tip. When you first um, draw ink, Especially, I guess, in like a Twisby pen, um, you'll get some air bubbles, as you see right here. But after like a day or so, or a few days, those air bubbles would go away. But if you want to always like um, twist, uh, bring down the piston filler, or just put the ink back in the bottle and then redo it. But these bubbles will go away um, in a few days. Sorry, that's my heat coming on. So yeah, so... Uh, I guess I'll give a more from foam roll review after a while. Let's see how it goes. But yeah, and like I said, I'll also will link down below 
a video of the unboxing of the Twisby Eagle Transparent Blue and Medium Nib. Same, same design, just different color and a different nib. But yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.